G'day. Just a quick update from what I said last time about email notifications for YouTube. Here's a quick workaround. Thank you to my subscribers for sending me a link. So I've made a very quick simplified version, which I'll show you now. And welcome to my new subscribers. So I'll try and do this a bit slower so you can either pause the video here and write it down. I'll also leave a full description below in block form that I wrote. So step one in your web browser, go to youtube.com forward slash subscription underscore manager. Scroll right to the very bottom. Then you'll see export subscriptions. Click that. Then save the file subscription underscore manager dot XML to somewhere you can readily find it again shortly. After you've done that, open a fresh browser window and go to blogtrotter. That's B-L-O-G-T-R-O-T-T-R dot com and enter that. There may be other sites that do a similar thing. I haven't researched into it, but I know this one works. So then open the page. And initially you'll have to sign up for a free account. You do not need any paid account because this works perfectly fine. Click the free ad supported plan. So simply sign in. It's a pretty easy step and then you'll get a confirmation email and then you can proceed with the following. Okay, so once you've signed in, head up to the top where it says subscription import export and click on that. Then a window will open up asking you to choose a file. Click browse and find that subscription manager.xml file that you previously saved. Click that and just ignore everything else, leave it at real time. File type is OPML. You can leave the separate box as is on the right that says include extended attributes such as filters. Don't worry about that. Then click import. Now it is possible, depending especially on the size of your file, you may get an error 524. Just ignore that, close the browser and reopen Blogtrotter. And then you should find once you log in that all your feeds are now there. So now you want to activate the email redirection of the YouTube subscriptions to your email. So to do that, at the very top, click the box on the left next to feed. That will highlight everything else for you. And depending on how many subscriptions you have, you may need to click the one on the right that in my case says select all 525 subscriptions. Anyway, what you need to do now that everything has been selected is click enable. Then you'll get a little drop down message at the top saying really enable all subscriptions. Just click OK. Now this will redirect all YouTube emails to your email account that you've specified. In some cases, you may need to add some extra people if you subscribe to them that may not be on the list. Or if you just want to enter people you subscribe to manually, use this method. In which case, using my channel as an example, just click on one of the videos in that channel. And below that video, you'll find the channel name, which in my case, of course, is Steve Mack. Right click your mouse on that and then click copy link address. Then go back to Blogtrotter and click subscribe to a new feed on the very left. Then at the top where it says URL, paste the entire link and then click feed me. You also have the option, not that it really matters, of clicking the one just above that saying also send me a one-time email, etc. That's not that important, but either way, just click feed me. Now there's usually a delay, it varies, it can be up to an hour from when the video was first put up to when you get it in your email. Which is not a bad thing because I suggest you do the following and make a separate folder in your email account for the incoming mail. Now this also works on a phone. I'm not sure how you'd set up a separate folder. Possibly you can. But what you'll get otherwise is a big list of emails from Blogtrotter which are actually just telling you which YouTube videos have uploaded where. But if you're using a PC or a laptop or a notepad, just go to your regular email account 
And again, I'm not going to go into showing you how to do this in great depth because every email program is slightly different. But basically what I would do is make a folder called YouTube. You could call it whatever you like, but for simplification, I'll just call it YouTube. The first email you'll probably get redirected is your own list of all items. In any case, it's a good idea to have that set up and set up a separate folder. And you'll see now that future notifications will come to you in that folder where you can simply scroll down. It's not as neat as the original YouTube notification by emails, but it's still workable. The only downside I can find is mainly if somebody is just starting a live stream because of the delay. And I've also found a delay in the past sometimes on some videos, but the delay with the live stream means by the time you get the notification, there's a good chance the live stream would have already ended, but there's nothing much we can do about that. Also, the other thing I've noticed is I no longer get notifications by email like I used to when YouTube enabled it of comments on my videos, which is a real pain because I used to use them to quickly reply to people. However, it is what it is. I would suggest, as I did in the last video, that you go to the bottom of the page of YouTube or the app and regularly send feedback or a complaint that you want the email notification service restored. I don't hold out much hope this will have any effect, but if we say nothing, then nothing will ever get done. So I'll also put a link to that below this video as well, along with the big Google feedback link that when I made this video over a week ago, in fact, I was the first to make a video on this topic, I believe. There was about 300 comments and now today it's closer to 2000 and increasing continually. So if you add your voice there, that increases our chance that they may take notice. So as I said, I'll put below the block form of enabling this whole process that I wrote and posted in the previous video underneath this video and in the description area. So you can use that as a reference to refer to as you set this up. And as I said in the last video, so now more than ever, it's absolutely imperative to do the basic things if you want your video to be found. And I've put those in a playlist, which I'll put at the end here, but you have to do the tags and the correct titles and thumbnails. It all has to be done because no one's going to find your video anymore. I hope that helps. Cheers. And let me know below if you found it works for you. If you're out of work looking for a job and you happen to be really ridiculously stupid, with absolutely zero IQ, perhaps contact Google. Because I'm pretty convinced now they have a special department for stupid decisions. You might get lucky and get a job there.